Hello everybody, this is Sirik 1983 and welcome back to Final Fantasy X. Alright, so yeah, I ground up the uh, 99 potions. It only took me about 15 minutes, so it's not really as extensive as the uh, overdrive modes were. But anyways, we've got to actually have a uh, sphere level here that you could use. I'm actually going to uh, wait a bit. Um, I actually want to grind up another uh, uh, sphere level, so let's talk to whoever this is anyway. <laughs> and let's head down underwater to fight some enemies here. Now this grinding session will only take probably about five minutes to do. I just want to grind up one more sphere level for uh, Cyric. Um, yeah, it'll take about five minutes, but I'll show you the enemies you'll be fighting here. Damn it! Here, fishy, 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 fishy. There we go. <laughs> Alright, piranhas. Basically, these things have about 50 HP each, but there's one catch. When they're in schools like they are right now, there's only one of them. Uh, there's, there's a school of three of them, so you multiply by 50, multiply 50 by three, so the, this pack or whatever would take 150 damage to uh, kill. But let's, uh, for the most part, I'm just going to have uh, question mark lady uh, steal, uh, but and then Cyric uh, do all the killing. As you can see, I've got the uh, warrior uh, overdrive mode on, and you saw my uh, overdrive uh, go up a bit there. There we go. So, yeah, it's simple as that. If you need to heal up, just go back, head back to the uh, ship to use the, sa the save sphere and all that kind of that fun stuff. So, yeah, I'll just grind up the uh, one sphere level that I need, and I'll be back when I'm uh, ready to make use of it. Alrighty, so I got the sphere sphere level I was looking for, so let's, uh, yeah, I did use the overdrive once more while I was grinding up like that, so yeah, I've used it, uh, I don't know how many times, but I used it again, so which means I gotta recharge my overdrive before the next boss battle. Anyways, so we got the two sphere levels here, basically, when you want to move, how many sphere levels you have is basically how many spots you can move. So let's move up here, I'm on an ability, yeah, it tells you what the, uh, the know you're on right now does, it teaches the ability to cheer, so you use uh, an ability sphere to learn that ability. Uh, ability spheres are for all abilities like this, uh, for white magic, black magic, basically anything with these guys, and you got uh, other things like armor break or whatever, that th that won't be won't apply to uh, Cyric uh, at all probably, but uh, another party member will be meeting. So yeah, that kind of stuff, like commands. Um, these ones here, also with the sphere grid, you can actually activate the ones that are right next to you. So yeah, that, this one increases defense, that increases strength, and HP is another one. That you, uh, those three, HP, strength, and defense, are use the uh, power spheres. And then you got it, nodes like these ones here, where it's agility, accuracy, and evade, evasion. Uh, those use... Uh, speed spheres and then there's monospheres as well which activate uh, the the mag you know raising your maximum mp uh raising your magic stat itself and raising raising your magic defense uh, as well so that's basically those are the basics of the uh the spheres uh, there are other ones like the, that unlock these locks but uh, i'll get into those when it actually becomes relevant so there we go got the cheer got all of that all right yeah you definitely want to make sure that your uh, overdrive mode is charged for the upcoming boss battle and uh, you'll see why. Actually, I gotta make sure I uh, got the right overdrive mode on here. Yep, Slayer, that's what I want. So yeah, right now that I've got cheer, uh, if I get into a battle, I'll uh, cast cheer once or twice to make sure I can, you know, kill the the, the piranhas in one hit and, uh, you know, charge up my uh, overdrive gauge. Alright, one more kill should put me put my overdrive gauge uh, filled up. And also, on the note of the uh, cheer commander, anything in battle that benefits your party members, anytime you cast something like cheer where it affects all the active party members and all that stuff, each person that it affects, it raises your affection with that person. Now, affection levels are they're kind of like in Final Fantasy VII, where certain, uh, uh, certain conversation options, certain decisions you make will affect how much the, your party members like you. And this girl right here, she's very temporary right now but she will eventually become a fixture in our party uh, not for much much later in the game um, but uh, yeah so you need to take advantage as many I actually want to get her affection higher than another map another person that we'll be meeting uh, uh, shortly um, so yeah basically when you talk to her the first time uh, this girl the first time when you to get the sphere grid uh, tutorial you gain four affection with her then now if you talk to her here she doesn't say anything, but she tells you to, what to do or whatever. You gain an extra four there, so you can use this to 
heal up here. I'm not gonna save or anything like that. So yeah, let's do what she says. And uh, you know, like any Final Fantasy game, violence and technology go hand in hand. So there you go. Obviously, this will not break it. This will open the doors, kind of coincidentally. So yeah. So you've got an affection with her of eight, the most you can get uh, with her at this point before she leaves the party permanent, well, not really permanent, but for quite a long time, is 12. And I'll show you how to get the extra the extra four as well. Um, actually, yeah, I still need the Slayer here. All right. Now from, uh, you know, from using the girl to steal all the grenades, I've got 15 grenades. You really only need maybe 10, but having more is no big deal. Um, no, more the merrier. Uh, so yeah, so she's got all the grenades she needs right now, so I'm just gonna have her attack and help out with the uh, killing things quickly. There you go. Got a full overdrive gauge. I'm happy. Nice. So yeah, if you're looking to... Um, you know, raise the, this person, uh, this girl's uh, affection... Uh, and uh, see some interesting conversations with her in, later on. More challenge. It's a more challenging way to, I guess, raise affection levels or manage your affection levels. So uh, that's why I'm doing it. And I like the conversations that take place between uh, our hero here and uh, her much better than the other ones. So there you go. that thing, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, if you need to use a potion, use one. Um, the only reason I got the 99 or so is because I'm going to sell them for a good chunk of change to start the game out with, so, uh, yeah, that's the only reason. Just use them if you need to. But, obviously, I don't need to. Alright, first real boss battle, battle that we can actually die in. Alright, it's Tross. Um, basically, uh, she, we have her use grenades. He has 2200 HP, and in order to overkill him, which I'm going to do, uh, you need to do a minimum of 600 damage, so basically I'm going to ch cast Cheers uh, five times, the maximum five times, so there we go. And I'm going to try and keep track of how much damage I do to this guy, because uh, the grenades do take out quite a bit, and you need to keep track of your Cheers and all that stuff, because I don't want to waste any time in trigger commands. Yeah, basically stand by, you can regenerate uh, 50 HP, but why would you want to when you can do 350 damage by throwing a grenade at him? So I have around 700 damage right here. I think that's the second time I've used it. Ow. Three. Alright, 1400 damage. so we can't use the Nautilus charge anymore. So 1400 damage. Let's say around 1800 there. Uh, yeah, that'll be enough. Alright, let's just have her defend. And finish this. This is cheer number four. Defend. And cheer number five. So you can see how doing this every single battle is pretty pointless because the time it takes you to buff up to the point of an overkill, you could go through two or three battles. So, alright. So we're playing Spiral Cut, and this should finish him off with overkill. There you go. I really like how they make the enemies die in this game. You know, just dissolving like that into a shower of sparks. I like that. Alright, so, uh... There we go. Awesome. Ooh, another... Awesome. Alright, so I guess that's all the time I have for this video. So in the next video, I guess we'll find out exactly what we, uh, found down here. And, uh... 
yeah, just find out what the hell it is, alright? So this is Sirik1983 signing off. Have a good one.